fifth grade. This is chapter two, lesson four, multiplication patterns. Now, when we're talking about patterns, it's just things that we keep seeing in math. We start to memorize them because it comes into a pattern. So one such pattern that we're going to be learning about today are the powers of 10. Powers of 10 are 10, 100, 1,000, pretty much think our place values. Those are powers of 10. And they can be written by 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, and 10 to the third power, and so on and so forth. Um, let's look at the example, number one. Pet Paws is ordering more goldfish to sell at their store. Each goldfish costs $2. Use the table to determine the cost of 10, 100, and 1,000 goldfish. Describe the pattern in the number of zeros when multiplying the cost by two by the powers of 10. All right, so we have two times one, that's two, you know that. How many zeros are in that product? None, right? What's two times 10? Well, that's 20. How many zeros do you see? Well, I see one. Two times 100, what's that? It's 200. How many zeros? Two. And 10 times 1,000 is 2,000. How many zeros? Three. So the number of zeros in the product increases or gets bigger when the power of 10 increases. Each successive power of 10 adds one zero to the product. So basically, every time you see a zero here, you just put the zero there, okay? How many zeros are in the product of 7 times 100? Well, how many zeros does 100 have? 2. How many zeros are in the product of 21 and 10? Well, how many zeros does 10 have? 1. And then how many zeros in the product? are in the product of 12 and 1,000. How many zeros does 1,000 have? Three. It does not matter what the first number is. You just have to count the zeros, okay? So let's get more examples on the back. All right, so it asks you here to calculate this mentally, and you can. You just have to look at the number right here. Write 10 to the second power without exponents. So all you need to do is look at that number in the corner. That number is a two. That means that this one is gonna have two zeros. Okay, so 13 times 100. Now count the zeros of, or count the number of zeros in the power of 10. Well, 100 has how many zeros? It has two. Compare the number of zeros that are in the exponents of 10 to the second power. Well, there are two. And write the zeros next to 13. So you'll just write the number 13 and then put two zeros after that. So your answer is 1,300. Okay? So let's look here. 40 times 7,000. Now this time we have zeros in both numbers, so we gotta be careful, okay? Write the basic multiplication fact. Well, what times four equals 28? Well, we know that that's seven. So now we're going to count the number of zeros in each factor. Well, there's one zero in 40, and how many are in 7,000? There are three. So how many do we have in total? We have four. So we are going to write the zeros after 28. So our product of four and seven is 28, and we just add four zeros next to it. So you will have 280,000. Okay, once you see that pattern and count the zeros, you'll be able to multiply anything. All right, good luck, guys.